Good morning, babies. On my Monday and y'all on my Monday and y'all Tuesday, because I feel like it's Monday. Oh, my auntie got a word for y'all. Let me tell you something, babies. Don't be in the business of keeping a motherfucker who don't want to be kept. I'ma say that again because somebody don't hear me. Don't be in the business of keeping somebody who don't want to be kept. Let me tell you, ladies, something. If you got a man and that man ain't doing what you want him to do, don't be out there running behind him, chasing behind him, acting like a goddamn fool because it ain't going to change the situation. It's making you look bad. And you men, same thing go for you men. If you got a woman that ain't out there doing what you want her to do and she ain't giving you the kind of time that you want her to give you, what one bitch won't do, another one will. Now, I didn't say what I said. I'm so sick and tired of people in these relationships thinking that they can do things and that making a person, you can't make a person do what you want them to do. I'm going to speak from my own experience. I've been dumb for a motherfucker a time or two or three, and I'm not ashamed to say it. And anybody to say that they ain't never been stupid for somebody is telling a damn lie. Tell the truth and shame the devil. I done been a goddamn fool for a man a many a motherfucking time, okay? Now, I ain't been stupid for nobody no more because those days have gone and went, all right? But I have been stupid. I understand this hierarchy. I never forget one time that I was with this dude, and I wanted him to pay me some attention. So I runs off and goes on thinking he gonna run behind me. He did the total opposite and ignored my ass. He didn't give two shits that I had ran off. He wasn't gonna go following behind me. Another time I was in a situation with a dude where I told him I was gonna, uh, you know, unalive myself. And he didn't give two fucks. Hung right up on me. So all I'm saying to you now, let me just put this disclaimer out here. That was a many a moon ago, and that was pre-children, okay? So just my oldest is 28 to give you an idea, because I ain't doing them kind of things now. But like I said, when I speak, it's always a message. And the message is, and I said what I said, don't be in the business of bitch. Listen, don't be in the business of trying to keep a bitch or a motherfucker that don't want to be kept. If they don't want you, move on. Don't be out here in these streets making yourself look a goddamn fool. Don't be around here busting up windows, throwing away clothes and arguing and fussing and fighting on it because somebody's going to end up hurt. And it's all because of a temporary emotion. And guess what, ladies? Guess what, men? Them people you acting a goddamn fool over nine times out of ten, that shit going to be over with anyway in a couple months to a couple years time. And you're going to look back on that and say, damn, I acted a damn fool. Don't be in the business of keeping a bitch that don't want to be kept. I said what I said. Deuces, I holler.